Greetings, Calvary Church. I'm so glad I have the opportunity to share a word of encouragement with you today. You may be feeling, as I do, that the isolation and the upset from normal life that we're experiencing due to COVID-19 is a wilderness or even an exile-like experience. We're removed from our normal church practices of gathering for worship and fellowship, and it's just not comfortable. God's Word has a lot to tell us about trusting in Him and returning to Him in situations like this. One of the things we see in the Bible is that when God restores His people from an exile experience, the blessings of the community of faith are extended to what the Bible calls the nations, people from every culture, language, and background. One of my favorite verses that is a prophecy about Jesus is Isaiah 49, 6. In it, God says, It is too small a thing for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles, that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. A great encouragement to me during this uncertain season has been hearing reports of how God is at work in other nations, among other peoples, even using the coronavirus to draw people into his family. I'd like to share a few examples to encourage you today. Our missionaries, Dwight and Melissa in Romania, along with their four children, have printed up cards with scripture verses on them and taken them around to their neighbor's gates. They report, we have heard testimonies of more people than ever focused on spiritual things, many of them seeking the Lord as they never have before this. Our workers in the nation of Israel tell us what they're finding. Many others who were rather indifferent to the gospel are now seriously listening to the message. By His grace in Christ, God has made this time of testing become a time of harvest though it is one by one, not yet a national turning to the Lord. Churches all over the place are working jointly in new and unexpected ways. In Central Asia, churches did a multinational virtual Good Friday service. They had pastors from different countries, backgrounds, even different languages, sharing responsibility for preaching, reading scripture, and leading in prayer. In India, where the church has been facing increased government opposition over the past few years, in one community, the local police, knowing that the church had a sewing training center for women, came to the pastor's door and asked him if the church members would make a thousand cloth face masks for the community. The church had been praying for an opportunity to bless their community during the lockdown and it was brought by the very people who had been causing opposition in the past. God's power is still evident as well. A friend who leads a church planting ministry in India shared about a young woman who was oppressed by a demon. Because of the lockdown, the church tried to pray for her from a distance, but the more they prayed, the more violent she became with people in her family. Finally, the church sent two pastors to her home. They anointed her with oil and prayed and prayed some more, and the, finally the demon departed. The woman's Hindu family members said, Today we have come to know who the true God is. We called on our gods to help, but nobody could. Even the doctors were unable to. Only Jesus has done this for her, and we will give our lives to Jesus and follow him from this day onward. The other thing that encourages me and humbles me is that people all over the world are praying for us right now. I've heard from several ministry partners who they've heard that there's large numbers of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. and especially here in Michigan, and they ask how we're doing. So Calvary Church, be encouraged. Our God still reigns in power. 
He is building his kingdom, and your brothers and sisters in Mozambique, in Tanzania, in Kyrgyzstan, in India, and in other parts of the globe are praying for you. Have a blessed day.